I've got uh, some tweets from folks. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them said that General, General de Gaulle is a lake. I believe that. Yeah. It's so. always a river every time it rains. Yeah. Yeah. Especially it, when it rains like it's raining right yeah, now. Yeah, and they've done a lot of work in that area, but still, you know, it's constant so. problems because we've gotten a lot of rain, short amount of time, so we know what happens. Absolutely. Also got a, a tweet from or a question from Fletcher Mackle. Mm -hmm. He's asking about the games in Baton Rouge this afternoon, mm -hmm. and so. A lot of what we have here now is moving in that direction. So, okay. like this afternoon here, from you know three to six, our rain chances are going down a bit, but they're going up in Baton Rouge I at that see, time. Yeah. So, if you're headed to Baton Rouge for the games this afternoon, uh, expect rain, mm -hmm. and you know possibly it, it'll possibly impact whether or not the game is played. So keep that in mind too. Yes, Take indeed. a look outside uh, this morning. This is at the bottom of a boat launch. Uh, not much rain there uh, at this time, but uh, across the rest of the area, like uh, through this shot. Uh, let's show our least circle camera. Uh, we're going to show that one too. It's looking uh, much different. We had some heavy storms move across the uptown downtown area just a while ago. The flash flood watch is in effect until 7 p.m. tonight. Another two to four inches is a possibility. Got a tweet from someone saying that uh, they've gotten two inches of rain in Bell Chase already this morning. And here's the rain that's occurring right now. Not much happening across uh, most of the North Shore and Mississippi Gulf Coast. Some showers starting to move into uh, the. Uh, Lacombe area and uh, Mandeville as well, but the worst of the rainfall is down here on the South Shore. And that intense storm that moved over the city a while ago has uh, kind of dissipated quite a bit. Not much in the way of lightning strikes uh, out there right now as well, but it's moving into Laplace at this time. Uh, so if it's not over your heads right now, it'll be over your heads uh, very shortly. The good news is the lightning isn't there or not as intense as it was just a while ago. But down here, over towards La Rose, uh, Chauvin seen some pretty intense storms over towards the John. Lafitte Galliano uh, seeing some of those downpours as well. And this is kind of hanging out. Uh, it's not moving very quickly across that area. It's been dropping a lot of rainfall across the entire region for the last half hour. So you're probably going to have some issues with flooding uh, down in this direction. And watch out for that, uh, that possible cloud to ground lightning that's, occur, that's occurring out here. 179 strikes in the last half hour. And the hail that's falling up to seven tenths of an inch in diameter. So heavy rainfall, lots of Lightning and some hail is uh, occurring in in this part of our region. So, not good weather at all across uh, many parts of southeast Louisiana. And as we look offshore, you can see that more is filtering into uh, into the coastline. So, the rain isn't going anywhere. Uh, for a while this morning. Here's the forecast model into the 1 p.m. hour. As you can see, we've still got a good chance of seeing those showers and storms. Here's Baton Rouge into the afternoon hours. As you can see, lots of rainfall out in that direction as well. And then you'll notice uh, this after, late this afternoon and into the evening hours, our rain chances go down. Some spotty showers still expected this evening. And tomorrow, our rainfall chances go down a bit, but I've got it still at about 50%, maybe as high as 60%. We'll be back with more news and weather in a moment.